Good morning guys and welcome back to another episode. It is bright, it is beautiful, it is just another great Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, today's Wednesday. It is just a beautiful Wednesday morning and we're out here on the lake. Nothing new there, right? But what we're going to be doing is a little bit different. It's a it's a different kind of I don't want to say challenge. This is Danny. Danny's a duck. Okay, if you guys got this month's mystery tackle box, the August box, you, you got a Danny the Duck. Duck lures are nothing new. They've been out on the market for quite a few years. There's been some good ones. There's been some bad ones. And this is one of the first that I've seen that's a hollow body duck. It's, it's different than, you know, your regular like uh, Savage Gears 3D duck. It, it's different than that. This resembles more of a frog. And I want to know, is this thing legit? Does it catch fish? Is, is it worth it? Is it a legit lure? Could you go out and catch a good bag of fish with this, a mess of fish? Let's find out. One of the first things that I want to mention about this lure is it's not very graceful. Whenever it hits the water, it really hits the water hard. But whenever I think about a duck in the water, I don't really think about it being that graceful anyway because, I mean, it's a bird and uh, they tend to flop around and do all that fun stuff that birds do. Like I said, it is kind of heavy, so a little bit of a stiffer rod might be in order for it. I'm using the heaviest rod I have and it's still a little, uh, a little cumbersome to throw around. It's kind of like, you know, chunking a Carolina rig. As I'm walking in my next spot, I was sitting here looking at old Danny and I noticed that uh, what this, this hook right here, this left hook, has a bad habit of getting stuck inside the body of the actual duck itself. I don't know if it's just my model or if it's how the hooks are made or how they're placed on the duck, but that could be a problem during a hook set if you don't have it you know, all the way in the mouth and that other hook doesn't get the fish in the mouth, then you're just going to lose your fish. So that, that's one thing that I am going to watch out for. But other than that, I haven't seen anything that I really think is wrong with this lure so far. To my knowledge, guys, this year I haven't actually caught a fish on top water. I've thrown it a lot, but I actually haven't, you know, caught a fish. I'm kind of hoping old Danny uh, changes that for me today. I'd, I'd like one. We're in an area with a lot of gar, and uh, gar really like top water, and that's not exactly what I want to put poor old Danny the duck through. That would, uh, that'd make me sad. Danny seems like a cool duck. I don't exactly know what you're supposed to do with a duck either, like, do you walk a duck, do you swim a duck, do you just reel it in, what do you do with a duck? I will say for a duck it does walk side to side really nice compared to like, I don't know, other lures of this, if this was a frog, I'd be really happy because uh, it walks pretty, pretty good. I actually kind of like this thing as much as I like my pad crashers, and that's that's actually saying something. That's the only frog I've fished with for like, I don't know, the past six or seven years it seems like. I got one to eat Danny the duck. Oh, and he ain't a bad one either. Oh, come here. Oh, baby. Danny. Danny the duck. Oh, old Danny did it. Oh, boy, did Danny do it. Danny the freaking duck just caught a two pounder. There's that. And calm down, buddy. I can honestly say I don't think I have ever caught a fish on Danny. I have caught him on a duck, but not a hollow body duck. If I can English, he got it good too. There you go. All right, Danny the duck fish. Thank you so much for biting. You're my first top water fish of the year, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the flip side, buddy boy. I'm not going down there because they're snakes, so yeah. While we're looking at uh, Danny the duck, by the way, guys, I'm sorry I didn't... Uh, get the bite on film it was I just turned the camera off from talking to you guys 
But uh, Danny the Duck, how is he made? What is he made out of? It looks like it's just your normal frog hook with... For some reason, there's like line right there. I don't know what that's about. And uh, yeah, it kind of slides through like a uh, normal frog. A bit like a line through swim bait because that's, that's kind of weird that it went all the way through. And I can't get it back out. But I guess the hook thing didn't uh, cause a problem because I clearly caught that fish. So... I'm going to say Danny the Duck's good. That's the first bite I've had on Mr. Danny. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, in this case, which one came first, the rat lure or the duck lure? I did it again, guys. He's got a big one. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Danny the Duck for the win. Oh, my God, this is a, this is a good fish. You guys can't really see it. But I promise you, this is a... Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Oh! Holy Jesus! This has got to be the biggest fish that we've got on camera on the channel. Oh my gosh. Alright, I think I've got enough pictures with this old girl. Man, this is a beautiful fish. Thank you so much for playing, and I'm going to let you go now. That was a little less than graceful, but you know, there's a drop there. That's pretty nuts, huh guys? Who would have thought that a little bitty duck would have caught fish like that? And that comes to my next point is, is this duck practical? Is it legit? Is it is it worth the money that you're spending on it? Or should you just go get your normal frog? answer to that is yes and no for a hollow body frog or for a hollow body duck like this one i would say yes it's not you know overly sized like that uh savage gear 3d duck you know it's nothing crazy but if you if you want to challenge yourself if you're up for a challenge a duck like that is perfect one of the bigger ones the hard body ones with the treble hooks the one that has the hook on the back that'd be perfect but if you're, if you're trying to be, you know, realistic, catch fish, maybe in a tournament situation, if that were the case, or if you're just trying to get some fish on the board around grass, this little uh, Danny the Duck Dealio ain't that bad of a lure. He's been, uh, he's been pretty good. He's got some, some wear and tear. He does take on a little bit of water. That's one thing that I did notice. He takes on some water, but he hooked every bite that I had, which is really good for top water. You don't really get that kind of, uh, hookup ratio generally so I would say Danny the duck is good to go the bigger ducks the savage year duck stuff like that not so much you know practical it's not as practical I'll leave links in the description below for the different kinds of ducks that I like um, I should have one up for Danny the duck too on the mystery tackle box ribs website <laughs> website and that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and smash that like button. Leave me a comment, ask me what you want, or telling me what you want me to fish with next, and I might do it in the next video. As for now, guys, I'm out of here.